hello to all our friends at St John's Toddlers and across the Two Shires Benefits. My name is Michelle and this is Dylan. <coughs> Dylan saying hello. And we thought it would be fun to make a few videos leading up to Christmas. What we're going to do in our videos is sing some Christmas songs together, do a little craft together and get ready to tell our Christmas story. Now each week there's going to be a theme and in a moment we will discover what the theme is for this week. Now how does that sound Dylan? Does that sound okay? Yeah? Right, are you all ready to find out about this week's theme? I think that's a yes from Dylan. So, in my Christmas hat just here is a clue. It is, do you know what this is Dylan? Shaking his head, this is a light bulb. And our clue for this week is lights. <laughs> so it's nearly Christmas and maybe some of you have already got your Christmas lights up. We've already got ours up as you can see in our den and lots of people in the village have already started to put theirs up. There are many different types of lights. And in my bag, I've got just a couple of other different ones. We have a lamp, which I'm going to plug in just here. That will give us a bit more light. This is a special one, so when you touch the base, it should come on like that. Now, is that too bright for you, Dylan? Oh, oh, okay, sorry. How about that? Is that better? Excellent, okay. And I've got some different types of candles. So this one here, it's an advent candle and it's a bit like your advent calendars at home. So every day you have to light it and let it go down just a little bit of that day. So we'll put our advent cal candle there. We've also got a nice scented candle. Smell that Dylan. Oh, oh goodness me. Oh, I don't think Dylan liked that one very much. Okay, sorry Dylan. Right, let's pop that one just there. Okay, we've got some little tea lights. These are just little lights that we can light at home sometimes. And a special little Christmas candle. Is that one pretty? Oh yeah, you like that one. So that's good. So there we have it. They are some different kinds of lights. Now in a moment we're going to start getting ready to tell our Christmas story. But before then, we're going to have a bit of a song. Is that alright with you, Dylan? You ready for some singing? you guys at home ready for some singing? Okay, today's song is going to be Jingle Bells! <laughs> right, so we are going to sing Jingle Bells and I'm sure it's a song that most of you know. Now, we've got some good bells here. Dylan, do you think you can handle the bells? Yes, if I put that in your mouth, give them a bit of a shake. Have a practice. Excellent, okay. So Dylan is going to play the bells and I am going to do some math tom signs. So if you've got some instruments at home, you can join in with your instruments and if not, see if you can follow the signs. Are we ready? You ready, Dylan? You ready at home? Okay. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Dashing through the snow on a one-horse open sleigh. Over fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bobtails ring, making spirits cry. Oh, what fun it is to sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, how was that? If you were singing at home, give yourselves a big clap. And a big clap for Dylan. Well done, everyone. So we come now to 
the part of our session where we're going to start getting ready to share our Christmas story. And so we're going to do a bit of preparation this week and next week and then in our third week we will share the story together. Now, I'd love it for you guys to join in at home, so there's a few things that I will need you to go and collect over the course of the next week. And it starts with a box. Now, I don't know about you guys, but we have had so many Amazon deliveries recently that finding a box was not a problem. So here's a box about this size would be good. Obviously an empty box so we can put things in it. And I'm going to put that box just there. Now, over the course of today, I have been around the house with Andrew's basket and I have collected as many toys as I could to help us tell the Christmas story. So we are going to begin by thinking about the key characters that we will need to tell the story. Now Dylan, can you tell me who two of the important characters are? That's absolutely right. So Dylan said, Mary and Joseph. Now Florence has very kindly lent us her Salvanian families. So we have got Mary and we have got Joseph. Now Mary and Joseph had a very, very special visitor one day. Do you know who that visitor was, Dylan? I, you're, yes, absolutely. So they were visited by an angel. Now for an angel I'm using one of my Russian dolls and the angel came to Mary and Joseph and said something very very special was going to happen. So the, the angel is a very important part of our story. So if you can find something in your house to be an angel you could pop that in your box ready for when we tell the story together. Now Mary and Joseph had to go on a long journey to Bethlehem. And when they got to Bethlehem, they needed somewhere to stay. Now Dylan, can you tell me and tell everyone at home, who was it that found a place to stay for Mary and Joseph? That's right, it was the innkeeper. So we have got an innkeeper just here. We have borrowed him from the set of Duplo and he's going to play the part of the innkeeper so he can go in our box. Now Mary and Joseph settled for the night in a stable and that night somebody very very special was born. Mm. I wonder if you guys at home know who that might be. Dylan I wonder if you know. Do you want to shout it out? <laughs> well I'm sure you all heard that at home. It was baby Jesus. So this whole story and this whole celebration of Christmas is about this baby Jesus. So see if you can find a Mary, Joseph and Jesus at home and pop them in your box. Now around the time that Jesus was born there were some people out working in the fields and they may have been a bit cold Dylan because it was probably very cold sitting in the fields. Do you know who would have been working in the fields? You're right, it would have been the shepherds. So just here I've got a shepherd boy and a sheep. And they were out in the fields one night when they also had a very, very special visitor. And they too were visited by an angel, but not just one angel. They were visited by lots of angels. So we're going to open up our Russian dolls. We've got a whole host of angels here. There we go. We've got one more. We'll put them in our box. I think this might be the smallest one. Oh, there's one smaller, teeny one here. And these are going to be our angels. And they told the shepherds to go and find a very special person who had been born in a stable. Put them in there. Now Dylan just whispered something to me. Say it again, Dylan. Well, Dylan was asking me who else would have been in the stable. So there was Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus. But you know what, Dylan? There might have been some animals in the stable. Do you know what animals there might have been? 
Dylan thinks there might have been some other Dylans in the stable. Is that what you think? <laughs> oh, I don't know what you think at home, but maybe. So if you can find something in your toys to represent Dylan, then maybe he could sit in the stable as well. But what other animals might there have been, Dylan? You're right, there could have been sheep. And there could have been cows. And there could have been chickens. Now we took these from our selection of bath toys. So they come ready made of water in them. There we go, can you hear the water in there? Yeah. So we're going to put those in our stable too. And they can join Mary and Joseph and Jesus and the shepherds and their sheep. Now there are three other people that I'm thinking of today that might be part of our story. I wonder if you at home know who it might be. But I'm certainly sure that Dylan might know. Who is it, Dylan? Absolutely. It is our wise men. So one, two, three wise men. And for these wise men, I'm using Christmas tree decorations. There we go. And I'm going to pop them in our box. So in our box, we have got all of the key characters for our Christmas story. And in our next online session, we will be thinking about the sounds and the sights and the different textures that might make up the story. So some point over the next week, see if you can start building up your box of Christmas story characters. We're now going to get ready to do a little craft together. So our craft today is going to be on the theme of lights. Now I thought it would be fun to make a candle holder. Now this is one that Andrew made right back at the start of lockdown in March and we got a jam jar and we stuck lovely coloured bits of tissue paper all around it. So when we popped our candle inside and lit it, it showed up in lovely bright colours. So Dylan, I thought today we would make a Christmas version of this candle holder. What do you think? Yep, yeah, excellent. And are you going to help me with this? Excellent. And you guys at home are going to have a go at making this as well? What do you think? Do you think they will, Dylan? What do you mean, no? Yeah, I should think so. Okay, so for this craft you need some PVA glue and some glue sticks. You need a jam jar. Now it doesn't have to be as big as this one. This was one I had for my birthday a few months ago and it came filled up with sweets. So in order to do this craft, you know what I had to do? I had to eat all the sweets. It was a really, really hard job, but don't worry, I just about managed it. So this is our jar and you need lots of colorful bits of tissue paper. Oh, and don't forget the candle. So Dylan, I have cut out some Christmas shapes with this tissue paper just here. Now I tried to make some snowflakes. So this is one of my little snowflakes. The first two I made went a bit wrong because I couldn't remember how to make snowflakes. But they still look quite pretty so I think we'll include those. I've made an angel. You see that angel? Just there. I've made some stars. Some Christmas trees. This is supposed to be a cracker, but I realise this looks a little bit like a sweet, but I think that's fine at Christmas. Sweets and crackers, they're all good things. And some stockings and some presents. And oh, I've got three presents to remind us of the three gifts that the wise men bought Jesus. So these are our tissue paper bits. Now, Dylan, are you ready to help me? Yeah? I'm going to give Dylan the glue brush. Now, don't you get glue in my den, okay? Are you listening? I'll be very, very upset. There you go, I'm putting it in your mouth. Have you got it? Right, so Dylan's got that. I'm going to let Dylan put some glue onto a star. Okay, Dylan? Right, sit, sit still, sit still. Oh, hang on a minute. I might have to put a bit of glue on there like that. There you go. Are you ready? 
Right, excellent. So there we go. Excellent. So Dylan started us off on the start. Thank you, Dylan. I'll have that brush. Oh, I'll have that brush. Thank you very much. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Right. Not sure I'm going to trust you with glue again, Dylan. Right. So let's put some glue on our star. Oh, star broke. Never mind. We've got some glue so we can fix it. There we go. So the star has gone on that side. We're going to put a bit of glue on our Christmas tree. Let's pop that there. Okay. My PVA glue is brilliant because it dries clear. So don't worry if it goes everywhere. It's not going to worry our craft too much. There we go. Our Christmas tree. Should we put our angel on next, Dylan? Yeah. Okay. This is our angel. So a bit of glue going on our angel and that will remind us of the angel that came to see Mary at Christmas. Right, there we go. Okay, that's our angel. What next do you think, Dylan? Ah, I think you're right. Should we put some stockings on there? Now these stockings will remind us that Christmas Eve we might get a special visitor. Who do you think might come on Christmas Eve, Dylan? I think you're right. I think Father Christmas might make an appearance on Christmas Eve, so we definitely need some stockings. There we go. I've got some blue stockings and some red stockings just to make it super colourful. Okay, there we go. Pop those on there. Now, our sweets or our cracker, depending on what you want that to be. Oops, it ripped. Don't worry. There we go, that's not a problem. We're going to put that around the top there. Okay. That's right, we fixed it. You never know it ripped. There we go. Now, what about this star here, Dylan? The star that we will remember in the Christmas story, the star that showed the wise men how to find Jesus. Let's pop that on there, a bit of blue. This is quite a sticky job. Which I'm sure you guys will all love. Let's pop that down there next to the other star. Okay, where's our snowflakes gone? Here's one of our snowflakes. Okay, so find a good place to put a snowflake, probably maybe near the top. Okay, and we're going to do our presents. So this one. A big pink present. We'll put that one down the bottom down there. And this is a round present. Now if you find a present like that under your Christmas tree, I wonder if you would know what that would be. And you don't think you would know, Dylan? Do you think it might be something like a football? Mm, I don't know, okay. And then this one, if we had a, a blue square present that could be anything in a box so we'll put that one on our candle holder put that near the top and then we've got one more stocking and one more christmas tree put that there dylan where do you think we should put our christmas tree maybe i think just there would look good Now, when you have stuck everything on, like that, we can put our candles in. Now, I'm going to use a tea light, but you could use any kind of candle. Our Christmas candle that we had earlier would fit in there quite nicely. Um, you can also get little battery-operated tea lights. Um, I think you can get them from B&Q or Amazon. So if you were a bit worried about setting things on fire, which is probably what I should worry about given my past record, um, you could use one of those. So I'm going to pop that in there. And now, without setting fire to the den, we're going to light it. There you go. And if we turn down the lights... We turn them all off you would see it beginning to glow and all the colours of the different shapes shining out. I hope you enjoy making that craft at home.
So I hope you've enjoyed our first toddler's Christmas session. We will be doing another one next week, so watch out online for when that one will be released. Dylan, have you had a good time? Yes? Yeah? Excellent, okay. So in next week's session we will be thinking a little bit more about the things we have to get ready for our story and we will do a different song and a different craft. But Dylan, before we go, there's one more thing we need to do. Because in here, we have got a little challenge to set everyone. Are you up for a challenge? Are you guys at home up for a challenge? Excellent, okay, so let's fish out our challenge and I will see what it is. Okay, so this week we've been thinking about lights and the lights that we might have up in our house, the lights we might have seen up in other people's house. And it says on this challenge, what could you put in your window at home that might bring joy to others around you? So people who are walking past your house, what might put a smile on their face? So maybe you've already got Christmas lights up, or maybe you're thinking you might put some up. But what other things could you put in your window? So maybe the candle that we've made today, maybe you would light that one evening and pop it in the window for people to see. Andrew and I have been making some stained glass windows. They're always good to put up in the window because the light shines through and they look lovely. But there's lots of other Christmas decorations or pictures that you could draw, but something that would cheer people up and put a smile on their face and bring joy as they walk past your house. Is that a good challenge, Dylan? Yeah, are you gonna try and do that this week? Excellent. Well, I think, Dylan, that I think we're done for today. What do you think? I think probably it's time for your bed very soon. No? Okay, well, I think maybe we're going to have something yummy to eat. And we'll start thinking about next week's session and we hope to see you all then. Give them a wave, Dylan, you have to wave with your head. Bye everyone, bye.